Yo, so you hopped on this video cause you don't know how to shoot. That's fine, bro. Bro, you know what's the best feeling in the world when you just searching for something on YouTube, bruh. You can't find it nowhere, then you just finally click on the right video. Congratulations! You just did that. Now, this video is more for the newer players that's trying to learn how to shoot, bro. If you've been at this game and you still don't know how to shoot, bro. Bro, I'ma help you out, but let's be real, bro. <laughs> this thing is trash. But no, nah, let's get right into it, my boy. Let's go. All right, so you don't know how to shoot. That's fine, bro. I'm here to give you all the sauce, bro. Now, Pete, bro, shooting this year, it's a lot of different factors. You know, you want to have a proper jump shot. You want to have the proper badges. You want to know the best settings, all that. So, Pete. Like I said, bro, I'm a pretty good shooter myself. I shoot 70% this year despite all the wholeness. 6'7. 6'7 is still decent, bro. It's still good. Still, I shoot 6'7% from the three, bro. You feel me? Now I just want to put y'all on to everything cool going on. All right, bet. So the first thing, the most important thing, in my opinion, is your jump shots, bro. You create a jump shot, bro. You want to peep all these other gray stuff they got on here too, but 2K put on here to try to finesse you out of making a bad jump shot, bro. It don't matter, bro. Trust me, none of this matter. Only thing that mattered to me is my release speed, right? So I always like to go with Lamelo base. If you have a higher three-point rating, you can go with Curry. Curry a little bit smoother for the smoother jump shot people, but I personally go with Lamelo base. And then I love going with. The upper release as Oscar Robinson. What that's up? Well, Oscar, at, boy. Oscar Robinson. What this does, bro? Max out the speed. Look, only thing I personally care about when it comes to the grade and stuff is release speed and my release speed at an a plus as a point guard as a shooter in general this year they slowed down all the jump shots significantly this year bro from past 2ks it's so different shooting this year so you want to always go with the fastest jump shot you could possibly get that's why i always go with an a plus oscar robinson gives you a super quick release so i go 100 percent oscar lamello lamello another thing you want to look at when you want to shoot me personally the best results from shooting comes from an early shot time and release bro and i'm gonna tell you what a trigger at for the early bro so don't panic i got y'all all right so peep y'all for the early release time and bro it's a simple release you always want to release it oh, how do i explain this so you want to release the ball when he gets to the highest point in the air and when his arms are ready to release the ball it's kind of like a cannon like you know if when you shoot a cannon you just want to pull it down and then you let it flick itself back up like think of can you know a cannon you put the little boulder on one side you pull it down and then you just let the rest pull itself that's basically what you're doing with this jump shot you hold it till he flick it all the way down then you just let it Hey, excuse me. I'm shooting with one hand, bro. I'm shooting with one hand and the latency different. Uh, chill, 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 chill. But yeah, like, you basically want to go to the highest point of release. And then once he get his full jump shot all the way back, you just let it go and let him do the rest of the jump shot himself. That's basically what you're doing early, bro. It's so smooth, so simple, so easy once you get the hang of it. All right, so peep, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be so straight up with y'all. This year, badges don't really affect your shooter. I know last year... When I was making jump shot video at the jump shot video, I always told you how important badges was to your shot. That is not the case this year. Since you only could make greens, they made the green window so big and they made badges not as important. Badges usually help people in the past, like make more whites or get easier green windows. But since the green window was already so big this year, they don't do it. They don't badges don't really affect anything. Bro, when I first made this player, I only have an 89-3 on this player. When I first made him, I didn't even max out the 3. At an 85, I was still fading very consistently without without aging 3. So, as much as I do like aging 3 and it does give you a boost, you don't really need it this year. Same thing with all these other shooting badges. 
I was running no blinders, no dead eye for the longest, still making those shots. Now, the one badge I will heavily recommend that you could obviously see a difference in, in my opinion, is Clutch Shooter, bro. Clutch Shooter, once it once it's activated in the last two minutes of the quarter, bro, you really feel that Clutch Shooter, bro. And it helps with free throws. For me, I have a low free throw rate on this player. It helps you with clutch free throws, so that's huge. It helps you make those last-minute clutch shots for sure. Another one I'll recommend is Volume Shooter, even though this is another one of those badges I don't really feel. But, yeah, badges still can help and contribute, but you don't need them this year. They're not necessary for me. So don't go too heavy on the shooting. That's how I shoot better. If y'all need a part two, I could go more in depth. But, yeah, man, peace. All right, so you don't know how to shoot. That's fine, bro. I'm here to give you all the sauce, bro. Now, Pete, bro, shooting is